Hello my dear lovely friend, I'm so pleased to see you. Today we're gonna watch one video called uh, Dave Chappelle finds out his son smokes weed. Let's find more information in this video. Maybe we'll find interesting moments, maybe not. But I'm a Russian man who learns English through comedy by using different videos about America, England, different cultural things around me. And I want to speak English clever. I want to be a nice person. Yes, and you can be a nice person by watching this video too let's do this maybe i will no, understand I this is Stop. maybe i will understand jokes maybe i will not understand but i will try to do this uh, and uh, in the in at the end of the video i will uh, retell the story and how did i comprehend it okay let's start you know how i'm getting old this is embarrassing but i was in my hotel room i was i'm not gonna lie i was jerking off like <laughs> And I was like really sweating it out. <laughs> and this is when I knew I was old. I, I just gave up in the middle, like nothing even happened. Just... Like, I don't like looking at my dick anymore. My dick looks distinguished. It's old, distinguished. old looking dick. It's got salt and pepper hair all around it. Salt and pepper, I don't know what does it mean. It means that it is so nice. Uh, salt and pepper, it means that uh, two in one means that you use uh, all advantages or what is it? I understood the uh, first part of joke that it's about uh, jerking off, masturbating and uh, that this man looked at his uh, penis and uh, hmm, it is something cool. What's that? My dick looks like Morgan Freeman in the 90s. <laughs> Without the dots. <laughs> My dick narrates, Dave pulled me out and started jerking me around and jerking me around. But not with the same vigor as when he was young. He and I both knew nothing was coming out. I see my age and my children. I came home from the road. This is not long ago. I, I've been gone for, if you can picture, I was gone for weeks and weeks. And when I came back, uh, nobody was home. <laughs> now, one person in my family thought that uh, maybe I'd like to see them when I got back. Like, <laughs> they knew when I was coming back, but they just weren't, they just weren't home. And that shit was a wake-up call. You know, like when my kids were little, and the tour bus would pull up to the house, these motherfuckers would spill out. <laughs> Dad is home, hooray! <laughs> and they'd hug me and kiss me, and then as the years went on, they'd get less interested. Hey everybody, look, it's Mr. Promises, back from the road. <laughs> but empty house, that's, that's some cold shit. And I went into my oldest son's room. I was like, hello, hello. He was gone. And I'd never done this thing before, but for some reason I just did it. I just, I just looked through his shit. <laughs> just to see who this motherfucker was becoming. <laughs> and I found these notebooks and I started going through the notebooks and it was all this wonderful poetry in them. Written as his handwriting. I didn't even know this nigga wrote poems. <laughs> And then I looked through his drawers, and I opened up his middle drawer, and I found his rolling paper. <laughs> and I looked down at them papers like, oh, that's where that poetry's coming from. <laughs> and that shit broke my heart. I mean, I smoke weed, but I mourned my son's innocence. And I cried a little bit. And I took his papers upstairs to my room. <laughs> Rolled some weed that I'd hid from the family. And I got really high. And then I got paranoid. So I put his papers back how I found them. <laughs> so he wouldn't know what I was up to. This nigga won't even know that that happened until he sees his special. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I found your papers. 
He's a cold motherfucker. Let me tell you, this kid is only 16 years old. Listen to what he did to me. This motherfucker calls me up in the middle of the night. It was one o'clock in the morning. He goes, Dad, don't be mad. I knew something was terribly wrong. I said, what's going on? He said, listen, I'm fine. And don't forget, you told me to do this. I'm at a party and my designated driver had too much to drink. And me and my friends need you to come pick us up. I said, Jesus Christ, it's one o'clock in the morning, nigga. I am shit-faced. <laughs> But I figured, fuck, it's better me than some kid. I might as well roll the dice and go pick my nigga up. I said, all right, I'm coming to get you. Just give me the address and I'll be right there. And then he gave me the address and I was, I was shocked. I said, son, you are not gonna believe this, but I'm at the same party, nigga. <laughs> I didn't understand so much. I understood. Uh, I, I understood this uh, story that the story was about. I maybe didn't catch something from this joke. I want to say that I understood that uh, this man, first of all, was uh, remembering his uh, entire past with jerky off at the hotel. And uh, one more story about how he came home and nobody was uh, in there. And uh, he, he, he was uh, like, uh, one moment, need to, tr need to find this word. I forget how to say it. Oh, Jesus Christ, let's... Uh, he was expecting. His expectations was like... A, Oh Jesus! I will go at home and I will find my uh, my mother, my wife, my uh, son, my sister. Uh, holy fuck! And uh, and other people, but he didn't uh, find them. He was looking around. Nobody was uh, was there. And after that, he was going upstairs and found uh, on. Uh, <laughs> on table of his son, of his nigger, uh, <laughs> nigger, we are tolerance, uh, on his nigger, nigger son uh, paper. Now, first of all, poetry, nice poetry, really good, nice, cool poetry. And after that, he noticed one interesting thing. It was a rolled paper and, hmm, I know why did you why you wrote this uh, poetry i know reason and after that uh, was a story i didn't understand maybe it is about uh, their speech yes they were speaking about something with uh, his son and uh, i didn't understand uh, something else maybe need to watch again but for me first of all uh, nice uh, expressions of this man was he was speaking like with this uh, tone Elsa I noticed that he was smoking maybe it was script of this uh, joke because uh, it it shows for everybody at uh, at this hall that it is uh, performance and it is uh, true emotions what he uh, did feel and yes good good story good story but i need to understand the full maybe because uh, <laughs> subtitles was not super not super f fast it i mean that uh, subtitles was not a second per second it was like a speech and after that some of the slowliness and after one second and f half, we have uh, subtitles. It is, uh, I don't know how to say it, it is ping, or how to say it, in Rush. It is delay. Delay. We have delay, lag, hold up, setback, retention, something like this. 
But thanks a lot for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please write it in the comment section below and you can recommend your own stories. Uh, for me, I did not uh, smoke weed. I ha have never ever tried to do this, but I was at a room with... Uh, it, I, I had in my life two different... Uh, Ah, even three. Three. First in my childhood when w one person tried to, tried to, how to say it, to offer me, tried to offer me uh, Mary Jane. Second was at my university in dormitory on 11th floor. Somebody was trying to do me smoke this, but I said, no, 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 okay, I will not do this. And uh, third, uh, it was at my 21 years old in St. Petersburg, when I was uh, at uh, like a guest at a room and uh, two person was at high level of <laughs> comprehension and I was I I said no I will not do this I don't want to do and one girl said I will not do too and we, we were like legal and in Russia by the way uh, smoking it is legal but uh, if you are uh, if you are saving saving it uh, at uh, home it is illegal mm -hmm. It is uh, some of the notes for you, like you are a foreigner, and maybe for you it will be interesting. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Maybe you have some uh, recommendations to me to tell you we in different videos. I will tell you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.